Hey guys, welcome back to 6 p.m. Kickboxing. My name's Alexa. If you haven't been here before, and if you have, then welcome back. Let's get into our uh, starting position. A nice uh, neutral stance, about shoulder width, or a little wider apart. Our toes, our, nip, uh, our knees, our hips are all pointed uh, forward. And let's start rolling our shoulders back. Here's a really good time to start thinking about that rhythmic breathing in through the nose, down in the diaphragm, and out through the mouth. Okay. And let's do um, let's do some arm circles back actually while we're here thinking about our shoulders and thinking about keeping those shoulders down and back like we've been talking about, that nice open space between our shoulders and our ears, um, and then letting this movement come from your shoulders. Going back a few times, this is just to warm up our joints and our muscles around the joints. Still thinking about that rhythmic breathing. Let's do some helicopters making sure we're pivoting with those helicopters. A lot of times I see people um, straightening out their legs like a lot for this. So what's happening is they're lifting their heels a lot and the leg is straight and the heel comes all the way up and now all your weight is on this leg and you're very easy to push or pull over or fall over on your own if you're uh, so inclined. <laughs> so we really wanna keep that heel nice and low to the ground and um, in doing so, we're ensuring our stability. Things that make that a little bit easier are sinking into your stance and um, kind of flexing your heel towards the ground. Just a couple more. Try to get a stretch through the back as well if you can. All right. Um, let's do um, some knees. Again, you can always do palm to knee or elbow to knee. It's up to you. So elbow to knee would look like this. We're not crunching into it. We're more so turning into it. This is really to bring your legs up, not an ab workout. Practicing the height on that knee. <coughs> Pardon me. Again, breathing. I know I say it a lot, but you'd be surprised. People forget. <laughs> really really easy to forget to breathe when you're focusing all right let's do some seat kicks making sure that lower back is nice and neutral again we don't want that C shape in the back if you're not feeling it through your legs um, that could be what's happening you could be overextending your lower back you want to have um, nice tucked hips so that you can feel that stretch through here Let's chamber up through the inside and opening up to the outside. You can touch down in between, or if you want to practice your balance, just uh, go for not touching down in between. You can use your guard, make sure your abs are engaged, and make sure your standing leg knee is nice and soft. Five opening, five closing. And this is just to get the hip joint warmed up, kind of like we did with our shoulders. My balance is feeling a little off today, so I'm going to touch down on that side. Apparently not this side, though. And closing. And remember, this chamber forward is our chamber for our front kick and our back kick. I always like to remind people. So we have a nice, uh, strong chamber. Still breathing. Always, always. All right, and lastly, um, let's do a little bit of um, uh, ankle stretching. You can also uh, press your toe into the ground and do it like this, it's up to you. One way and the other way. Maybe like five each way. All right. And uh, let's do kicks for a stretch. Five to the front, five to the side, five to the back. And when you're done with that, um, we'll get started. Or when I'm done with that, we'll get started. 
If you're done with that, you can do some calf raises. Always looking to where we're swinging that kick through. Three, five each side. Each kick each side. Making sure that we're turning just our eyes over. We don't want to turn our whole shoulder. All right, take a minute or so, or a few seconds or so rather, and we'll get started. All right, so to start, we're just gonna go through a couple of different exercises, um, all on the ground, all body weight, unless you have weights you'd like to add. And we'll start now with either push-ups. You can also do a plank if you can't do push-ups, or you can do some swimmers for your back. So push-ups, uh, back, or a plank. Starting now, I'm gonna do swimmers for a little bit. Keep it up, keep breathing. Make sure you're looking in front of your hands and not at your belly button on those push-ups. Just a couple more seconds. Three, two, one. And let's roll it over here for some abs. We're gonna do, um, let's do some crunchy frogs. So coming under the knees for a challenge, over the knees for the regular, or if you need a break, you can put your hands on the ground. Try to look up or at a 45. Make sure you're not crunching your neck. Try not to use your arms too much for momentum. you need to be to keep your toes or your knees behind your toes. Squeezing at the top. If you want a challenge, make it a jump squat. So I kind of think about sitting my hips back first before I go down. And then we start to squeeze to pull up. That's that one done. Let's take our nice strong fighting stance, left leg forward, right leg back, our guard matches, and we have nice tight fists. And we're sinking a little bit into that stance. We don't wanna be here. This is standing, not stancing. We're stancing now. Um, let's start off with a little lunge. Um, so lunge, we're pressing off the back foot, coming in. Let's do a jab cross. Now we're gonna shuffle, bring that front foot in, step back out in that nice strong fighting stance, poke off the front, uppercut off the back. So the hand strikes are just jab, cross, hook, uppercut. We're splitting it up with some footwork. So lunge in. We're closing the distance and moving in on our opponent. Maybe they're coming back at us. So we're moving back out and striking. Let's switch three times or one time, um, depending on your floorboards and your neighbors. So lunge, jab, cross, shuffle out, hook, uppercut. If you've got it, keep going. So from the side, 
lunge, jab cross, shuffle out, hook, uppercut, and I'm gonna switch. Lunge, jab cross, shuffle out, hook, uppercut. If you feel your shoulders creeping up, just relax before you get into your combination. Lunge, jab cross, shuffle out, hook, uppercut. Lunge, jab cross, shuffle, hook, uppercut. footwork wrong. Lunge, jab, cross, shuffle out, hook, uppercut. If you're having a hard time remembering combinations, it can be really helpful to say it out loud to yourself. I do it all the time, and I've been doing this for a while. One more. All right. Pardon me again. Uh, let's change that combination up just a little bit. And now we're just gonna swap the footwork. So the hands are gonna be the same. When we move in, we'll jab cross. When we come out, we'll hook uppercut. So front back, front back, okay? So this time we're gonna shuffle in, jab cross. We're gonna lunge back, hook, uppercut. Notice on that shuffle that my head doesn't move, like it doesn't go up and down. We don't wanna straighten up or gallop into it because that's telegraphing. So shuffle in, jab cross, lunge back, hook, uppercut, and from the side. Switching three times in between. Shuffle in, jab cross, lunge out, hook, uppercut. As slow or as fast as what works for you. Shuffle in, jab cross, lunge out, hook, uppercut. Shuffle in, jab cross, lunge out, hook, uppercut. Shuffle in, and a lunge out. If you forget, that's fine. As long as you're moving in, moving out, you can kind of see what works better for you. Some people like different footwork, moving in, then what they like moving out, just depends on the person. Shuffle in, lunge out. Shuffle in, and a lunge out. I don't know why that side doesn't want to do it. Shuffle in, Lunge out, just a couple more. Shuffle in, and a lunge out. Got my own combo right that time. Shuffle in, lunge out. One more on the other side, just because. Shuffle in, jump cross, lunge out, hook uppercut. Either way, you guys got it. So, um, let's take that combination and do some body weight with it. So we're gonna do six burpees. We're gonna do jab, cross, hook, uppercut, down for a push up or a little plank, or you could do a squat instead. And back up, so that's three each side. From your feet or from your knees on that push up. And again, you can always do the squat. I'll do the squat on this one. And our squat. Other side. And a squat. Or a push up, whichever you were doing. Um, let's do a little bit of lunging. We'll do 10 on each side. So front leg forward, our knee is over our heel. And our hips are under our shoulders, which are under our, our ears. You should feel this a little bit in your quad and a little bit in that glute. Nine, 10 pulses. When you're ready, switch sides. distancing and moving in on our opponent. So we're going to do some knees for speed. 30 seconds each side. If you need a little break, step out for a couple seconds and jump right back in. Right leg first. Staying nice and tall. Make sure you're not bringing your face to your knee. We don't want to knee ourselves in the face. And 
what that means here is no crunching. We don't want to round it out back. Almost done with this side. Keep breathing. Two, one, other side. Keep it up. You are halfway through this side. Soft knee in that standing leg. Okay, we're gonna take that same hand combination and we're gonna translate it into elbows. So, the difference here, I'm gonna have my cameraman come on. This is my quarantine buddy, so I'm not hanging out with people I'm not quarantined with. But uh, I'm gonna have my cameraman come on and I'm just gonna show you guys the difference between a jab cross from here. And if you see here, I'm way, way, way too close for punching. I mean, even if I'm aiming for a space, I'm too close. So, and for kicking as well. Well, maybe not if you can hike your knee up, but theoretically. So this is where elbows and knees come in. We want to get nice and close. I'm right on top of him. My foot, foot is like right next to him. And these elbows are really, really great for that. So goodbye. Um, thank you. <laughs> so we're going to think about those elbows being right on top of our opponent. So for this one, let's lunge in because that's a nice speedy way to move in. And let's do a driving elbow, driving elbow round elbow and a rising elbow and then let's just shuffle it up switch three times so we'll lunge off the front off the front or sorry off the back off the front and off the back and shuffle back so remember we're hitting with this nice sharp part for this one i'm thumping across the chest in an x shape the for this one i'm coming around maybe to the jaw or the ribs depending on how tall my opponent is and for this one, I'm coming up through the center of the body or to the chin, depending on how tall your opponent is. Lunge, driving, driving, round, rising. Shuffle out and from the side. Lunge, driving, driving, round, rising. So you'll notice that this is really, really similar to the feeling of our jab cross, poke, uppercut. We're coming forward with our weight and our hips, around with our hips, and then scooping up. So lunging, let's do this for a time, a short time. And I'll turn to this side because I haven't yet today. So moving in, driving, driving, round, rising, shuffle out. Driving in, driving, driving, round, rising. Um, something that's really helpful here as well, keeping that nice soft, uh, strong stance, soft knees. If we come in and have really straight legs, it's gonna be really hard to follow through on these. So lunging in. Really wanna follow through on the hips with this one. Using those glutes to press that hip through. to bring that guard back, whichever one's not striking. Keep it up. Just one more. All right. Let's take a little breather, quick, and do some more push-ups. So coming down, let's do some brave eagle push-ups. Let's do 10. Turn your feet are from your knees, fingers out to the side. Um, and this time your elbows will kind of come out. Looking ahead of our hands, not down in our belly buttons. All right. And let's do some leg lifts. How about 15 of these? Flexing our feet, hands under our seat. 
You should feel this in your lower abs. Head on the ground, or if you want to challenge, bring those shoulder blades up. Nice and slow. Doing this for speed is not really helping you very much, because um, we kind of want to engage our all of our muscle fibers. So if you do it for speed sometimes, you should do it slowly other times. Keep it up, just a couple more. two more combinations and let's keep thinking about those um, moving in on our opponent and getting nice and close. Um, if our opponent is far enough away we have room for a kick but if they're right on top of us like as close as I was to Carlos before um, we want to use probably a knee. You can bring right up into the groin or up into the body depending on how tall they are so this is another way to move in and let's keep the elbows and finish with another knee. And then we'll just shuffle back and switch. Okay, so it's knee off the back, same elbows as before, and one more knee, which means we'll have to switch ourselves each time. Knee off the back, elbow, 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 and a knee off the back again, and shuffle back. Knee off the back, oh, switch one more time. Knee off the back. Elbow, 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 knee again, shuffle back, and switch. And of course, as big as shuffles or as little as shuffles as you have room for. And another knee. Switch. I'm going to turn on the timer for this. We'll do it for a short period of time. Make sure you're not crunching into that knee. Make sure you're not rounding out your back. Switching three times or one time, whichever you prefer. shoulders to be flying forward with our strikes. That's it. Let's call it there and let's do um, one more thing to finish off today. We're going to do a little quick app series. <coughs> Pardon me. If you've never done the app series, I'm going to tell you what to do. Make sure that you're breathing in for two counts and out for two counts, or just breathing in general. If you need a break, take a quick break and jump back in. We're at 30 seconds each one, starting in a tabletop. We're going to hold one, bring that leg out, breathing in for two, out for two. So breathing in, breathing in, breathing out, breathing out. I'm flexing my feet, exposing my heel for better lower ab engagement and hip flexor engagement. 10 seconds here. You can rest your head on the ground or have your shoulder blades up. That's always generally an option for um, a ch an added challenge for abs. And switch. So now we're pulsing that leg at the bottom, holding one leg at the top. Still breathing in for two, out for two. Don't forget that little pulse at the bottom. That's really going to work your lower abs and hip flexor. Next, we'll be going up into a V above our hips and down to a 45. In a few seconds. Hands behind the head, feet up in a V, down 45. 
above the hips, down to a 45. This one's where uh, it's really beneficial to take it slow and stop at the 45 and stop above your hips because it takes a lot of ab strength to, to stop there instead of using momentum. Just a couple more seconds here. After this, we'll go into crunchy frogs. All right, and crunchy frogs when you're ready. And I try to look up at the ceiling, especially if you start to feel your neck uh, straining here. Couple more seconds. All right, and bicycles for the last 30 seconds. Try to keep your elbows out to the side rather than like crunching in like this. And try not to crunch your neck. Couple more seconds. Speed it up if you can. All right, full body stretch. a nice stretch to finish off. Grab a drink if you need it. So I like to start nice and tall to give our lungs room to expand. So let's do just some chest openers. And breathe into the nose, down into the diaphragm, out through the mouth. You should feel a little pump through your pectorals here. And a little squeeze in the shoulder blades. Some helicopters, because they just feel good. Unless they don't, in which case, don't do anything that really, really feels bad for you or hurts for you. Always feel free to modify. Okay, let's do um, a nice, little quad stretch here, just for um, those zombies we did earlier, and the lunges a little bit too. Here's where you'll really feel it. If you're tucking your hips, you should feel a nice tight stretch through here. A lot of times people have their hips set back, um, that C shape in the spine. Nice soft leg in that standing knee will help you stay balanced. You can always hold onto a chair or something. Let's bring it around. And if you can, hold on to that leg. Shake out our ankles or roll out our ankles a little bit. Switching sides. Try to get that knee pointed down to the ground. We don't want it out here. And try to keep those hips square. I know mine like to kind of want to open up a little bit. Can be helpful to hold a hand out, to focus on a spot on the wall, a non-moving object. Some people find it helpful to put their hand um, around where their center of gravity is. I find it helpful to like, if I'm losing balance, to think about a nice soft knee. Come bring it around. Rolling out that ankle. Still breathing. Let's do one arm across. Pushing that shoulder down and away from our face, keeping our arm engaged. No noodle arms. And you should feel this through the back here, through the back of your shoulder. Other side. do one more arm stretch here. We'll bring this arm behind, pull on our elbow. Now, if this stretch doesn't do anything for you, like it doesn't for me, can you still see me over here? 
Ah, well, okay. If you have a bag or a wall, you can hang on to that and kind of hold your hands there and bring your head down between your elbows. I'm not gonna do that today because you won't be able to see me doing it. But that's a good way to get the back of your arms um, if you're, say, hypermobile or just um, have a hard time feeling a stretch. All right. And let's finish up with one big deep breath, just like we always end our virtual classes. So we'll take a nice deep breath in. And swan diving down. I'll turn to the side for you so you can still hear me. Getting a little hamstring stretch at the bottom here. I like to pulse. Shaking out our arms. And rolling our shoulders back. And when you're ready, we're gonna shake our head no. Nice big movement. We're gonna nod our head yes. And a nice big movement. And we're going to tuck our tail, breathing in and in. We're gonna fill our lungs, coming up one vertebrae at a time. Full body stretch. And release. Awesome work today, you guys. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, let me know in the comments down below or leave us a message um, at the Valaris page. Um, and we'll see you guys at 6 p.m. on Wednesday.